Welcome back to my Road to Completion Guide for Untitled Goose Game. This is episode two, and we're going to be heading into the high street area in this episode, and the goal is to unlock six trophies. So the first trophy that we're going to work on is a trophy called Devious. We have to make someone from outside of the high street area buy their own stuff back. You can see here that I'm stealing a tool from the groundskeeper and I'm going to take that into the high street area and place it in the market. This will cause the lady who's running the market to set this tool up in her shop for sale. When that happens, we're going to run back over to the garden area, bait the groundskeeper over using the keys. Once he sees his tool in the market, he'll want to get it back. As soon as he picks up the tool, the lady running the market will see him and force him to buy back his own stuff, and that will be enough to get you guys the trophy, Devious. Now, if you're feeling pretty comfortable with the game, you don't actually have to bring the tool over first and then go back and get the groundskeeper and bait him over with the key. You can actually bait him over here using the tool. The only problem you might run into is if the lady who's running the market sees the groundskeeper chasing you with the tool in your mouth, Right? She's going to want to pick up her broom and shoo you out of her shop. If that happens, it's very difficult to get the tool back without the groundskeeper or the lady seeing you, and it becomes a mess. So unless you feel really comfortable with the game, I wouldn't try that. The method I'm showing you here makes it extremely simple because by the time you get back to the market, she's already set that tool up in her shop. All you have to do is drop the keys inside the market. That will be enough to bait him over. He'll see the tool, and then of course you guys can pick up the trophy. After you pick up the devious trophy, I want you to wait for the lady to walk away. And there's three umbrellas hanging on a line. I'll show them to you in just a second. They're off camera now. They're to the right. See them right there on the line? Grab any of those you want, guys. It doesn't matter which one you grab. And then carry it over and place it in front of the TV shop. I also want to show you that you can grab the umbrella from the top or the handle. You guys see that? You have to make sure you're grabbing it from the top. If you grab it from the handle, the umbrella is going to open. We need that umbrella to stay closed until we're able to make it into the TV shop. Then we can open it and that'll allow us to get another trophy called Unlucky. But before we work on that trophy, I want us to pick up a trophy called Ghastly. We have to trip the boy in the puddle. So what you need to do is find the boy and then honk behind him so that he runs toward the puddle and then untie his shoelaces and then keep honking so that he runs across the water. When he does, he'll trip and fall and that'll be enough to give you guys the trophy. Once you have the trophy, wait for the boy to tie his shoes because we need to chase him into the phone booth and any time his shoelaces are untied, he'll trip every two or three steps. After he ties his shoes, go ahead and honk and chase him off in this direction. The phone booth is in the corner. If his soccer ball or his plane is nearby, he'll open up the door to the phone booth and sometimes he'll want to come back out and get the soccer ball or the airplane. If that happens, just honk one more time and that'll force him to go into the phone booth and call for help. Once the boy calls for help, go ahead and grab the top of the umbrella and wait for the shopkeeper to leave her shop and go help the boy. Then you can take the umbrella into the shop and this time you want to grab the umbrella from the handle so that you open it up. That'll get you the trophy unlucky for opening an umbrella inside the TV shop. And then I want you to click the red button and wait to get credit for the next step on the to-do list. 
Now, just in case you weren't quick enough, you can restart the checkpoint and repeat that process, or you can just force the boy back into the phone booth now. He'll call for help again, the shopkeeper will come out, and you can go in there with another umbrella, or you can click the button, whichever one of those steps you missed. After you've done all that, head back into the market, grab anything you want, guys, it really doesn't matter. Just as long as you can distract the lady, you want her to chase you over to the left of the map. We want her to walk all the way to the left because what we need to do takes place on the right of the map and we want to just buy ourselves a little bit of time to make this next step in the guide work. Okay, so now that she's distracted, head back into the market. We're going to work on a trophy called Noisy. We have to make the shop scales go ding. You can see here I'm just placing down another distraction, just trying to buy myself as much time as possible. I'm going to head over. You'll see the scale in just a second. There it is. And then just start placing stuff on it, guys. Anything that you see. And then as soon as you're able to make it go ding, you'll get the trophy noisy. Now, you don't have to do this stealthy, okay? So if she sees you while you're putting stuff on the scales, it's not a problem. Just grab something else in the market, you know, chase her off to the side, distract her, and then come back and just keep adding stuff to the scale until you guys can get the trophy. And now we want to grab the broom. You want to grab it from the brush side, okay? And then just keep pulling. She'll grab the other end see that then just keep pulling eventually it'll break off and that'll give you credit for another part of your to-do list so the next trophy that we want to work on is a trophy called dreadful we have to trap the boy in the garage the problem is the garage is closed if you look in the top right hand side of the screen it's closed we have to convince this lady to open it for us and this is an aspect about this game that we haven't talked about yet if you remember back in episode one we were dealing with the groundskeeper we had to make him hit his thumb remember so he was hammering the sign, we honked, he backed into the door, fell through it, and that of course gave us entry into area number two, which is where we are now, the high street area. So the question is, what caused the groundskeeper to grab that sign in the first place? If you remember, it was a no goose sign, right? He didn't want us in his garden no more. <laughs> so what caused him to grab that? It was because we were completing the checklist. The way this game works is your goal is to upset the people in the area so they force you out. They put up a sign that says no more goose, right? The only way to make that happen is to complete the checklist. And that's what we're doing now. We want the lady to open up the path that takes us into area three. She'll go through the garage, hit the alley, and then open up the gate. That's of course how we get to area three, but she has to open up the garage first, which is what we want because we're trying to pop this trophy. So you can see here that I'm just switching glasses with the boy, right? That's another part of my checklist that I'm trying to complete, see that? And that'll be enough to get her to open up the garage. See it in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, a new to-do list item. Now she's going over to the garage to open it. Now I can chase the boy into the garage and get the trophy dreadful. <laughs> So at this point, the only thing that we have left to do to complete our checklist is to go shopping. To save a little bit of time, we're going to complete that step during the speed run. So go ahead and restart your checkpoint and officially start your speed run. The first thing that we need to do is trap the boy in the phone booth and then move the airplane into the market. Now the lady will pick up the airplane and place it on her shelf as an official item that she's selling in her shop. While she's distracted, grab the basket and move it down to the lower part of the level and then move into the TV shop, click the red button so you can get on TV. Now we want to chase the boy into the market so he's forced to buy his airplane back from the lady running the shop. While that's happening, steal the pair of glasses and move them down to the lower part of the map near the bench. Hmm. 
At this point, you should still have enough time to run back into the market, grab the red and yellow can and place it in your shopping basket. Now just wait for the boy to leave the market with his airplane. He'll head toward the same bench that we dropped the glasses off at before. Now just untie one of his shoelaces so that he's forced to tie that shoe. When he does, grab the glasses and switch them from the ones that you picked up from the market. Now the only thing that we have left to do is finish shopping and break the broom. The best way to shop is to trap the lady in the garage. That will buy you like 20 to 30 seconds of free time to run through the market and grab everything you need to put into the basket. You do not have to do this in one trip. You can trap her in the garage as many times as you need to until you're able to finish shopping. After you finish shopping, you'll pick up a trophy called the High Street. That's for completing the High Street to-do list. And then as soon as you break the broom, you'll officially complete your speed run, which will get you the trophy, the High Street, quickly. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'll see you right back here in the next one. Be good. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, you can do so at Patreon. I offer a ton of rewards from behind the scenes coverage, RTC visual guides and workbooks, even early video access. Monthly pledges start at $1 a month and for those of you who support me already, I greatly appreciate it.